The moment captured by a photograph can be used to tell a story, communicate a message, or teach a valuable lesson. If you follow the LEFD on social media, you've seen us use photographs and videos in many different ways, all with the goal of connecting you to us. But we can only do this because of the generosity of our 20 photographers who willingly share their work with us so we can share our work with you. And for the third year, we are recognizing those photographers with the LEFD Photo of the Year contest. They were each invited to submit their favorite photos from 2022, and you all voted. In fact, thousands of you voted. And it's almost time to reveal the winners. But first, I wanted to personally thank each and every photographer for your dedication in safely capturing the LEFD in action and being willing to share it with us. It is a partnership that we truly value. Now it's time to get to the votes. Let's find out whose photo will be joining the winners from the past two years and hanging right here in our LAFD headquarters. Good luck to you all. Hello and welcome to the 2022 LAFD Photo of the Year announcement. I'm Margaret Stewart and I'm really excited to have you here so we can share this news with you. I want to start by thanking Fire Chief Crowley for kicking it off and I can't emphasize enough what she said that without the photographers who graciously share their work with us, we wouldn't be able to share the work of your LAFD with you. So it's a partnership that we truly value. And as she said, it's time to get to business. So we want to, uh, but I do want to make sure to say thank you to you as well, our voters, because without your votes, we wouldn't be here. So now we'll get right to it. We have our finalists standing by, and one was not able to join us live today. So we spoke with that person a couple days ago and revealed the news. So now we're going to, how are you doing, Leo? You. Good. How about yourself? I'm good, thanks. I'm good. I'm uh, I'm glad we're able to connect in this way, even though we can't unfortunately get you live on the show. Um, obviously, I'm here. We're here to uh, reveal your placing because you are one of the finalists in the uh, 2022 LAFD Photo of the Year contest. So um, <clears throat> without any further ado, I'm happy to let you know that you have won third place. Awesome. Photo. So I think we had 18 submissions. Um, so you're top three. And um, so I wanna say congratulations. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad to be a part of this and congratulations to, excuse me, congratulations to all the other winners and everyone who participated. Excellent. Well, I would like to get um, uh, just a couple quick questions in. So um, a little background for you, like what got you into photography? How long you've been doing it? Kind of what was your pathway to that? Absolutely. So my grandparents uh, were always into photography, uh, nature photography. Um, and then as a kid, I was always fascinated with the fire service. And I kind of merged those two worlds together. And that's kind of what put me into uh, fire photography, uh, taking pictures of the Los Angeles City Fire Department, firefighters and captains and all the members at work. Right, and what uh, people may not realize if they haven't uh, kind of watched our news feed over the last couple months is that you are in the cadet program. That's uh, right. You were recently, a couple months ago, I've lost track of how long ago it was now, recognized for um, your response as, as a civilian, as a bystander to a medical emergency at a traffic collision. So. Um, you, as you said, you kind of merged your interest. Um, so you you take it beyond just being the standard um, kind of stringer photographer to actually um, pursuing it. Do you, do you think it's, is it um, what you think you might want to do as a career or is, are you looking at other avenues? Absolutely. The Los Angeles City Fire Department is my career goal. And this is kind of a cool way, you know, to get my foot in the door and kind of see what the culture of the Los Angeles City Fire Department is like. And so I'm starting a new job soon um, that will hopefully segue into the fire department. So I'm looking forward to that. Excellent. Well, you're just the type of candidate we love, someone who's 
committed, dedicated, you've already shown that, you know, you want to be there to help your, your fellow citizens. So that's great. Um, out of, uh, out of all your pictures from this year, or I should say from last year now, um, let us know why, why did you pick this one? What do you like about this photo? Yeah. So the, as you know, I submitted a lot of pictures this, or excuse me, last year, <laughs> but the reason I went with that photo is because it's just the massive wall of fire and not only the fire, but what was happening in the foreground. So firefighters were at work all the different members uh, were doing their jobs. And, it, you know, you can kind of, it feels like you're in that moment of that intense firefight. And that's why I chose that photo. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. It's a great picture. And obviously it resonated with with all of our voters, the few thousand people that, that voted um, and awesome. on the board. So uh, we look forward, we'll be, we'll be sending out your winning package soon. Um, so you'll, you'll have that. And again, we just thank you for participating, for submitting your photos because as we say often um by the only way we can really share what lefd is doing is by all the photographers who share their work with us so we appreciate that it lets us you know then put that out into the world so um thank you and again congratulations thank you very much i'm glad to be a part of it so that's a big congratulations to leo kaufman whose photo took third place and now we're on to the two finalists we have joining us live today. We have Chris Conklin in the blue shirt there. Give us a wave, Chris. And we have Jake Asner. Hi, Jake. So they've been standing by to find out um, what the results are. And we're going to get, we're just going to get right to it again. So I'm happy to announce that our second, or our, sorry, our runner up in second place photo is Chris Conkle. Yay, Chris! <laughs> Congratulations. Well, thanks so much. Thanks so much. It was a, it was certainly a, a great group of entries. Uh, congratulations to uh, to Jake. Um, we'll hear more from him uh, yeah. shortly, I'm sure. And also, uh, also to Leo for for his photo and his other accomplishments uh, that you described in the in the last year. Yeah, we'll definitely um, chat with Jake in a minute. He can be sitting in the background being excited. <laughs> um, but I want to ask those same questions that I asked Leo and find out what's what's your background in photography? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I, I guess I've always um, I've always had a, a camera in hand and, and always also had an interest in the, uh, the fire service. Um, coming out of college, I, I became a, a civil engineer. So being a fire photographer was was a way to keep a connection uh, with the fire service and, and to, to, you know, to support my community and, and, uh, and, and the fire service. Yeah. So you kind of answered both my question there. You tied, tied it into, uh, to why fire. So that's great. So talk to us about your photo. Why did you pick this photo? Well, it was, it was, uh, you know, certainly a dramatic photo. Um, we like to, uh, or I like to get a lot of fire uh, in the photo if possible. And that was certainly um, the, the case on this one. Also, uh, you know, good shots of the, of the firefighters um, at work, putting the, putting the wet stuff on the, the red stuff, um, certainly kind of through that door, very dramatic, uh, you know, portion of the photo um, there. Um, you know, so it was, it was a, it, you know, it was one of the top photos of the year. I, I, I would like to, I'll give a shout out to my wife uh, Jennifer for all her support in my photography and in fact she you asked how did I pick I mean she was directly <laughs> in, assisted me in selecting the shot yeah um, she's quite a photographer in her own right so um, you know so I, I value her opinion there um, so so thanks uh, thanks Jen that's great and we have one more surprise for you because there's a category that we didn't pre-announce it was a secret and we're calling it the forensic focus. So do you know who Harry Garvin is? Yes. Have you met? Okay, yeah. so for those watching, Harry Garvin is our forensic photographer in the arson section. And we asked, uh, asked Harry to look at all the f submissions and to pick his favorite one. And we're calling that the forensic focus. And fortunately, you also won the forensic focus award so harry picked your photo and i'm just going to read um, you can see here what he said why he picked yours and he said this image shows the real battle of firefighting as it so often is described in literature but rarely captured photographically 
Past written accounts of fires and firefighting in America, particularly from the 19th century, speak dramatically of the towering fire fiend, an enemy with blistering heat, anger, and a destructive power that is quelled and conquered only with the dedication, perseverance, and bravery of firefighters. I see all of that here, including the breached in heat, deformed door, giving those on the hose line direct access to the fire with the ability to attack the very heart of the enemy. This is a fine photograph with a wonderful timeless cinematic quality. So those are pretty strong words. <laughs> yeah, Harry really, <laughs> he really liked your photo and it talked to, um, you know, the same thing you said about the drama of it and really capturing, you know, the essence. And so for the forensic focus win, your picture will be framed and hung in the arson section. So at their office, your photo will hang um, with a place of honor there. Well, it, it, that is that is quite an honor, and and uh, you know some great words there from from uh, from Harry. Um, yeah, ec certainly a battle at that moment, and and uh, um, you know glad that I could capture it and be in the right spot to do so. Yeah. Well, again, thank you. Congratulations, and we will have your winnings sent off to you shortly. Excellent, and and thanks so much, Firefighter Stewart, and the rest of the the community liaison unit staff. Uh, you know, you guys do great work. You're the best in the business at keeping the public informed. So, thanks again for doing this. Oh, thank you. All right, and now we're on to our first place winner, Jake Asner. Congratulations, Jake. Oh, do we have his audio? A little technical difficulties here. You muted me. There okay, we can are. you hear me now? <laughs> we there can we hear are. You okay. Now. <laughs> it wouldn't um, be without. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy to be back here for year two. Year two when I've been in it. Uh, I yeah. think I got second or third last year. Yeah, so, that's fantastic. Uh, so We're, happy uh, to be here. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Chris, your photo is absolutely amazing. Uh, Thank you, sir. Yeah, I appreciate that, <laughs> as, as was yours. So congratulations on the win. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Jake. So let's same same questions to you. Let's let our viewers get to know you a little bit. You're obviously no offense to Chris because I'm right there with you, but you're the younger generation of uh, of photographers coming up. So what's your background? How did you get into this? Um, so honestly, ever since high school, I've kind of been chasing calls, um, running out to fires. I mean, obviously, much uh, farther than uh, before I learned all the safety and precautions that you got to know about getting close to all the action. Yeah. But um, I, I, I've always been into photography okay. since day one. I picked up a camera when I was literally in preschool. So it's it's been a long time coming for sure. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So what what is it about, um, you know, as you say, chasing calls? What is it about the emergency response calls that that draws you in? Yeah, I think I just like to highlight the amazing work that isn't seen on a day-to-day -day basis that our firefighters uh, are always out on, always willing to answer the call. Yeah. Um, and you never know what you're going to roll up on. I mean, it, every scene is so different from the one before. Yeah, that's absolutely true. So coming to your winning photo there with the firefighter in front of the auto fire, what is it about this picture particularly that uh, that you picked and what do you think appeals to the voters? Um, I, I just think it uh, it shows the, the first face of action. I mean, I got their pre-arrival on that fire. So uh, we were out staging in South LA and we actually saw the loom up from it, went out there and uh, we're first on scene. To follow. I think that was 33s, but just the, just the action shot, just the the freeze frame of that firefighter walking right into the action. Yeah. I think that's definitely, yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, we thank you and uh, congratulate you. And as you saw in the opening video by Chief Crowley, your winning photo will be framed and hung in the fire department headquarters on the 18th floor in City Hall East. So wow. it has a pretty special, honor. yeah, wow. has a pretty special place there. Um, wow. And it will, it'll, Hang, hang there into eternity. <laughs> You're forever, <laughs> wow, forever remembered there. Uh, wow. So I, again, I, to all 18 photographers who submitted and to you know, those who, who weren't able to submit, but they continue to share their photos with us, um, I send a, a, you know, a very warm thank you from the LAFD. And we know how much you know, our followers across all of our social media 
enjoy being able to see those images and learn about the department. So um, on behalf of everyone, we say thank you and we appreciate you adhering to the safety protocols, making sure that you're safe um, when you do capture these images. So all of our winners are gonna get a special uh, challenge coin from the LAFD and some LAFD merch that's uh, provided through the LAFD Foundation is um, supporting us for that. So you get to proudly wear some more t-shirts or hats if you don't already have them, um, but we'll be sending that out to you shortly. So thanks for joining us. Um, thank you for watching, and we look forward to what's to come in 2023.